or in my case, in my case, there's another indication that this just needs a spark. Uh, you know, I've been on some, some TV, and, and uh, a couple months ago, Glenn Beck did a show on F.A. Hayek's book, The Road to Serfdom. And I was on for the whole hour for that show. Now, on that show, my book, this book here, had not yet come out. So they flashed it on the screen, you know, just to identify me, I'm the author of this book. They flashed it on the screen for three seconds with no discussion, because we weren't talking about this book, we were talking about another book. So there's no discussion of the book, it's flashed on the screen. Flashing it on the screen makes it an Amazon bestseller. There was no other publicity. People may not know what nullification means, but when that word is stamped over a scene of Obama and his cronies signing the health care bill, they say, sign me up for this thing. <laughs> now, unfortunately, if only I could have had five minutes to talk about this particular book. Right? Well, someday that's bound to happen. As I say, the judge has been great to me. I mean, the judge is talking about nullification like crazy. He endorses it on the back cover. I've got Barry Goldwater Jr., who I think knows a little something about something, right? And then we've got Walter Williams, Rush Limbaugh's sit-in host. Now, if only we could get Rush himself on board. But be fearless. Prove yourselves worthy of the great men whose footsteps, in whose footsteps you are walking. And be confident, because the other side's historical knowledge, I mean, really, Chris Matthews, is this guy a scholar? You know, you add up all the historical knowledge of Rachel Maddow, all these people, it fits inside like one third of a thimble. We can laugh at these people, and we should. We need to make this funny. We, we can't look like the, you know, they want us to walk around with horns on our heads. That's why we gotta be funny. And, and now, I'm not necessarily saying I'm so funny. But the one favor I want to ask you guys, other than at least consider the book, is this. When you go home, if you use the internet, I want you to go, and I know if Bolden is back there saying, I'm never going to let Woods speak again, he's two minutes over. I need just, I need just three more minutes, Michael, I apologize. Um, but in any case, I want you to do this, I want you to go to this website. I actually purchased this domain name, believe it or not. I want you to go to interviewwithazombie.com. Some of you have seen this? Okay. This was a YouTube that a friend and I did in anticipation of this book coming out because, you know, when you talk about the states, what's the first thing people say? Oh, you're a racist, you know, a, you know, neo-confederate, slavery defender, whatever, like a Nazi. Even though we just saw the Nazis are, like, the, these people don't even think, right? So I thought, well, I'm going to launch a preemptive strike against these people by, in effect, have, by having this video in which the host, the idea that it's a program hosted by a zombie. The idea is that this zombie has his own television talk show. So it kind of looks like a typical MSNBC program, right? In fact, in fact, people wrote to me and said, how did you ever get Keith Olbermann to interview you like that? That was great. And so the whole show, all he's doing is just throwing one word at a time at me. And it's all these left-wing smear words that are supposed to destroy me. And instead, I'm just giving him historical evidence. And all he can do is just continue with this. Well, this is, this defangs them. Because whenever they try to do this to me, and I just point the whole world, I say, well, go to interviewwithazombie.com and see, this guy is just like the zombie. And the one, and one time since, I, since then that I have been attacked, in the comments section, everybody's going, hey, you zombie, and linking to the video. It's fantastic. We've got to do stuff like this. Well, my friends, we have, for too long, expected some hero in Washington to put things right for us. But those heroes are in short supply. We need to put things right. And we can start in our own backyards with our own state legislatures. Forget about waiting for Washington to return our liberties. We have the tools to do so peacefully ourselves. For as Lord Byron said, who would be free themselves must strike the blow. Thank you very much.